hey, you must have searched some internet stuff on financial services, rollovers, 401ks, and retirement, and you got introduced to me. I've been doing this stuff since the late 90s. What I do is put people's financial junk drawer in order. There's a whole lot of different ways we can do that. If you're not interested in that stuff, then you can skip the ad now. If you are and you'd like us to put something together for your family and your financial future, follow me here. So let me tell you a little bit about this. This is the financial junk drawer. This is all the pieces of the pie that people have that we oftentimes will put and make sense because nobody really worries about all this stuff. They're not really thinking about it like this, but what they are thinking is, I want to make sure I'm not a burden on my family. I want to make sure that I absolutely do not outlive my money. If that's a concern for you, follow me. We'll go to the next level. So you've come this far. I'm one of the owners of Creative Financial Partners, and we'll talk a little bit about kind of the financial junk drawer and how all these things fit together. Before I get too far into this, I'll tell you, many people are intimidated by this stuff, and I get it. I totally get it. I had a conversation with my dad not too long ago, and we were talking about I just bought a new truck. I got an F-150, and he's asking me which engine I got. I don't know. He said, what do you mean you don't know? I said, I just don't know. Like, my whole family knows about stuff like that, and I don't. I didn't even pop the hood when I bought the thing. So I'm assuming that it works. I talked to the person that I trusted, and they pointed me in the right direction for the things that I wanted. Not going to tow. I don't do stuff like that. I wanted it for, for some other things. So anyways, the way you feel about this stuff is probably how I feel about buying a truck. Anyway, back to this. All these different pieces are very complicated to somebody that's looking from the outside. Most of my clients have been kind of pushing off the day of talking to somebody like me. One of the really cool and favorite things I hear all the time is, gosh, if I'd have known it was this easy, I would have come and seen you a long time ago. So let's just make a little bit of sense out of some of these things, because these are big decisions. And some of these decisions we can't unmake. For instance, the biggest talk, talking point that I have with so many of my clients is pension decisions. It is a big deal, not just for you, but for your whole family. The problem with the pension is, once you pull that lever, you never get to unpull it. So if you decide you're going to take a pension option that gives you $1,000 a month, but if something happens to you, your wife gets nothing. That is a big deal. Sometimes people are making decisions like this and they don't even know what they're doing, that that's a permanent decision. Or would you rather take $800 and if something happened to you, your wife gets $800? So you're basically buying insurance from the pension company there. Like these are decisions that we like to educate people. So we like to have a little bit of time before they have to make this decision because again, pulling that lever is a forever decision. Social security. Every year that you wait on social security, you get a pay raise potentially. So the really easy thing to do is just tell me when you're going to die and I'll do the math. If we don't have that on the table though, we're going to calculate what we have in other assets and how all these things fit together and calculate exactly how much money we're going to have coming from where. Another big piece, everybody knows we have to pay taxes on a bunch of this money. Social security, pensions, 401ks, IRAs, 403Bs, 457, all these different numbers, all this fancy stuff is out there. All of these dollars, big piles of money. Many, many of my clients have these accounts they've been contributing to. They've been putting money into these things their whole career. Here's the problem. They don't really care. They've been in the accumulation stage. What they're most worried about is if I've got a certain amount of money in there, how much money can I actually take out? without having to worry about running out of money, without being a burden on my kids, being a burden on my wife, being a burden on my family members, and making sure that I don't run out of money. So that's a big thing. Life insurance. One of the things that we always struggle with with our clients, most people have some form of life insurance. The likelihood that they understand it, almost never do they actually understand what they have. So we have specialists in my team. We have people that sit with me all day, every day, that work in every one of these areas. 
When it's time to talk about Social Security, we've got a true expert sitting in the seat. When it's time to talk about life insurance and looking at what you have and kind of peeling back layers of the onion, that's what we do all the time. We're looking at savings accounts. Finally, we're seeing interest rates go up a little bit, but it's still not going to impress you. So how do we make our money work as hard as it can, but without taking undue risks? So many times we've got money in different places, but we don't necessarily have an agenda. It's not all part of a plan. So that financial junk drawer, and I created that term because people literally have brought in boxes of their stuff. And they say, I bought this from my brother-in-law, my ex-brother-in-law years ago. I don't really know what it is. My grandma gave me this. I don't really know what it is. But what we're do gonna do is bring all the pieces together and if you'd like some help with that, I would love for myself and my team to be a part of that fix. Let me know if I can help. Click here.